Good evening guys and welcome back to my channel. So tonight I'm going to be sharing with you some perfumes that are those you but better perfumes. Perfumes that are sort of like not really a perfume, very clean girl aesthetic. If you're looking for those kind of fragrance recommendations, um, these are some of my top favorite picks. I really love smelling clean, effortless, elegant, polished, and just an easy grab and go type of perfume. Those are some of my favorite. So yeah, I'm really excited to share my thoughts on those with you in today's video. And if you're new to my channel, I would love if you would consider subscribing. Also, you can head on over and follow me on Instagram if you wanna see more little tidbits of my life that I don't share here on YouTube. And I also cover a little bit of minimalism, decluttering, a little bit of home decor. I love doing like closet declutters. I do the odd perfume declutter, although I have really slowed down on doing perfume declutters lately for a multitude of reasons. <laughs> but yeah, I'm definitely um, a bit of a minimalist at heart, but I'm somebody who also loves fragrance. And so if you're interested in any or all of those things, I would love if you would subscribe. I also recently started using Tretinoin and I'm vlogging my entire journey on Tretinoin over on Instagram as well. So with that out of the way, let's get started in today's video. All right, you guys. So the first clean girl aesthetic fragrance that I want to share with you, this one is such a crowd pleaser. And I talked about this in my most recent haul that I did. This is Glossier U. So this fragrance is musky. It's powdery. I think that there's iris in here I believe there's musk in here I can't remember all the other notes off the top of my head but what this really smells like is kind of a little bit like um, pencil shavings a little bit like a makeup compact a little bit sort of lipsticky and at the same time there's this beautiful addictive muskiness about it yeah it smells very feminine and it really reminds me a little bit of molecule 01 if you've ever smelled molecule 01 it really gives me um, an Isoe Super type of vibe, so which gives it that pencil shaving kind of quality, which sounds crazy. Like, why would you ever want to smell like pencil shavings? But for some reason, there's something very attractive about it and beautiful about it. And this perfume is that perfect fragrance to wear if you work in a sensitive environment because it's extremely understated and not headache inducing. It's very simple, it's very feminine, it's very pretty, it's very clean, and it really does not smell like a perfume. It literally just smells like you but better, which I think is the actual slogan for this fragrance. I think that Glossier was actually the company that coined the term you but better, and that's exactly what it smells like. It's absolutely gorgeous, so if you like those kind of understated, powdery, musky fragrances, this is definitely one to check out. I think you could wear this um, in any kind of setting where you really shouldn't be wearing perfume and you could probably get away with it. Not that I'm encouraging you to break rules or anything like that, but this is the kind of scent that people will not actually be able to pick up on you that you're wearing a fragrance. So this one I really quite like. I also noticed that the performance is okay with this one. I will smell this by the end of my day. I will still smell this in my clothing. On skin, I don't find that it lasts incredibly long, but I will still smell this on like my work cardigan or like a top by the end of the day. So I think that the performance with this one is pretty good as well. And the bottle is super cute except for the red cap. That's the one thing I wish it didn't have was that red cap. <laughs> Um, but otherwise, this is really an incredible fragrance, and I love the little thumb divot there. It's just very, um, very pleasing to hold. <laughs> so that is Glossier You. The second clean girl aesthetic fragrance, and this would not be a clean girl aesthetic video or a you but better understated perfume video if I did not include Jo Malone, Peony, and Blush Suede. So if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that Peony and Blush Suede is one of my all-time favorite, favorite perfumes. This is... Oh my gosh, this is just such a beautiful, elegant, pretty, feminine, understated fragrance. I've always told you guys that it smells like a bridal scent. It has peony in it, obviously. I think there's another floral in here as well. I can't remember whether it's freesia or lily of the valley, something like that. There's also a little bit of red apple and there is suede in here as well. And the suede that's in here is not a dirty animalic kind of a suede. It's a very subtle, smooth, feminine type of suede and mixed in with that peony is just absolute heaven. They have done such a good job with this fragrance. Yeah, there's just nothing quite like it and I love it so so much usually for me this is more of a springtime perfume however this year in Canada we didn't really get spring we had winter and then we jumped right into summer we literally had snow and then it was 30 degrees Celsius <laughs> so I didn't really get a chance to wear my favorite springtime perfume but yeah, I'll still wear this throughout the summer, and this is just such an elegant scent. I honestly think that if I had to call my collection down to like 10 perfumes, I feel like I would want this one in there because 
it's just such an easy, beautiful, everyday, understated fragrance, and it really does smell like clean girl aesthetic, like you, but better. Like you're really not trying. It's effortless. It's an effortless, perfectly effortless fragrance, and I really think that Jo Malone captures effortless fragrances perfectly, and I would really love another Jo Malone in my collection. I just haven't found that perfect second Jo Malone one to add, um, but this one's just stunning. So that is Peony and Blush Suede. The third one is a fragrance that I actually have a decant of, but I do not have a full bottle. This one I purchased from Royalty Scents a few months ago, and this one here is Tom Ford White Suede. So you guys, first of all, um, this is not sponsored by the way. I have worked with Royalty Scents a long time ago, but this was purchased with my own money. But I really love the Royalty Scents decants because they have the name on the bottom and you can interchange these if you run out and they just twist up and down. And the atomizers I'll show you are stunning. So that is Peony and Blush Suede. Wow, you guys. Okay, where do I begin? I love this scent so much. I honestly could see this being one of my signature scents. Like I want to get a full bottle of this. I've been talking about this one for quite a while and that's what I really love about these little decants is sometimes you're not really sure how you feel about a perfume. So this is a really nice way to test and see if you really want a full bottle and wear it a few times so that you can really make up your mind before you make a decision. So white suede to me smells like a crisp linen shirt a button down top. It smells like a career woman. It smells like a feminine, elegant, again, effortless, soft-spoken woman who kind of has her life together. I believe that there's a little bit of lavender in here. There's suede, there's musk. I wanna say that there's thyme as well or some sort of an herbaceous note in here as well. So it's a little bit herbal, it's very musky. And again, the suede that's in here is not an animalic, dirty, car seat leather kind of a scent. It's not that kind of a strong leather. It's a very, very soft, true suede. And I just love it. And the way that they've done it in here is so fantastic. And honestly, you guys, that one spray is filling the room around me. It really just smells, again, like you, but better. Very effortless. It just smells so good, you guys. I love it, I'm obsessed. And also the bottles that this currently comes in, the white suede, are also um, very aesthetically pleasing. They used to come in the black bottles, and now you can get this perfume in the white bottle with the clear juice. Very pretty. Um, the price tag is a little much. That's why I haven't splurged and gotten the full bottle. Also, I still do have some left in here, but I have been wearing it. And I just absolutely love this. And I also am happy that I have this little decanter because this would be perfect to pop in your handbag and take it with you to freshen up throughout the day if you want to. But just such a beautiful, effortless, everyday kind of scent. The next one is another suede uh, fragrance or fragrance that has suede in it. I'm seeing a little bit of a trend and I don't know why that is, but this is Clean Skin from Clean Reserve. Now this one, you guys, has grown a cult following at this point. And actually you can see the dent I've put in this bottle. This is a 100 ml bottle and that's a pretty decent dent for a 100 ml bottle. And especially considering I have a lot of perfumes, so it usually takes me some time to go through perfumes. I think the reason that there's such a good dent in this one is because this is one of the very few perfumes I can actually get away with at work because I do work in healthcare and technically we're really not supposed to wear fragrance but again this one does not come across as a fragrance it does not smell like a perfume but there's a little bit of a sweet praline there's this really sexy musk there's a bit of a saltiness that kind of gives you this like sweaty skin kind of vibe in a good way and then there's also that suede which is just a tiny bit animalic and all of it together the all of the notes mixed together literally make this smell like clean skin the name is perfect the way they've done this is just absolutely expert. It's classified as a floral musk. I can't think of what the flower is that's in here. So like I said, there is a bit of a sexiness. There's a bit of a sensuality, but it really depends on the um, context. Like if you were to wear this for Netflix and chill, you smell natural and clean and sexy. If you wear this to the office, you smell clean and fresh and just like you've showered that day and you have a really nice body wash and you just look after yourself and this just smells like you but better. So again, it's one of those clean girl aesthetic you but better but does have a bit of a sensuality to it. It's probably, I would say this one and the one coming up are probably the two like sexiest ones from this video. Um, but this one is just so easy to wear and the longevity on this one is amazing, you guys. Like this will last on my clothing all day and into the next day and I can smell this coming off of myself all day long when I wear this. And you guys, the compliments that I've gotten with this one is no joke. The amount of compliments I get 
with clean skin when I wear it is insanity. You know when your boyfriend, if you have a boyfriend, wears his shirt overnight, maybe it's the shirt he sleeps in or he wore it the whole evening, and the way that shirt smells the next day, it kind of smells a little bit sweet, a little bit musky, a little bit like skin, a little bit like, like a tiny, tiny bit like cologne or some sort of deodorant or something. It's that kind of musky, sensual skin scent. I just love it so much, you guys. There's nothing else quite like it. Like I said, this is such a masterpiece perfume. Definitely very clean girl aesthetic and definitely a you but better type of fragrance. So the next one, you guys, is one that definitely comes across more as a perfume. This one isn't so much you but better or um, not a perfume type of perfume. This one is definitely still though very clean girl aesthetic, I think. When I was deciding what perfumes to choose for this video, this one definitely jumped out at me and this is Chanel Chance Eau Tendre. So this one is kind of a shampooy, fresh, musky fragrance. I believe that the fruit that's in here is quince. And this is the Eau de Parfum as well, you guys. If you guys are wondering, I do prefer the Eau de Parfum over the Eau de Toilette just because I find it has a little more body and lasts a little bit longer. This is such a beautiful, even sexy, fresh, shampooy fragrance. You cannot go wrong with Chance Eau Tendre. I know it's hugely popular, and for that reason, sometimes I don't even wanna wear it because I feel like so many people wear it, but they wear it for a reason. It's a fantastic fragrance. I'm also proud of myself because look at the dent. Again, we have a dent in a 100 ml bottle, which is good for me because usually it takes me forever to put dents in my bottles because I have a lot of perfumes and I'm always trying new perfumes, and because like I said, I'm not really allowed to wear most of my perfumes to work. I cannot do it, I can't get away with it. Um, but this one is just a very clean, soapy, fresh out of the shower, you just shampooed your hair. Yeah, but musky, and yeah, just very feminine, fruity, playful, girly, young, not too serious, not too strong. I think there's also rose in here as well. So it's kind of like a fruity floral musk, and it truly just smells like a clean, fresh girl out of the shower. Uh, you really can't go wrong with it. This is work appropriate, it's brunch appropriate. You could wear this to the gym. And the other thing though, there is a sexiness to it. For some reason, guys really seem to love this on women. Um, my boyfriend absolutely loves this perfume. It's kind of interesting because I feel like, in my experience, I'll just speak from my own perspective, my boyfriend especially, he either really likes the sweet, seductive ones, and maybe not so sweet, like Versace Crystal Noir, Gold Couture, those kind of like super sexy, seductive nighttime, or he likes super fresh, like Mac Turquatic or Chanso Tendre. So there is a sexiness to this perfume. I honestly think you can't go wrong. This is probably the sexiest in the video if we're gonna if we're gonna put them in categories. And the last clean girl aesthetic perfume. This is one that was newly released from Diptyque, you guys, and this is not one to sleep on. This is Low Papier. So this is what the bottle looks like from the front. I always have to show the Diptyque bottles because they are so beautiful. I love that they have a little picture on the back, and the bottles are just very very aesthetically pleasing they look amazing in photos if you're into taking pretty flat lays and photos and you just love home decor in general like i do you can't go wrong with diptyque so this is low papier so this one has notes of musk sesame seed mimosa and woody notes which doesn't sound like much but you guys this fragrance this is such a beautiful slightly creamy, musky, woody, slightly floral fragrance. It smells a little bit like pencil shavings or wood shavings, which if you are new to perfume or you don't know what Iso E Super smells like or you've never smelled a Molecule 01, um, it basically just smells kind of a little bit like wood shavings and there's something very attractive about it, very sexy, uh, very special. It's a very addictive kind of a scent and I actually didn't ever plan on getting this. I had smelled it in store and I was not wowed by it. However, my boyfriend purchased it and it was only after I smelled this coming off of him uh, in the car, on the couch, when we were just in the same room together, walking around outside. Like this has really good sillage. And when I smelled this coming off of his shirt, I just was like, I was complimenting him all day. I was like, you smell really, really good. That smells incredible. I was actually so proud of him because he usually goes for more of the typical uh, men's cologne clones. Like he likes um, Tom Ford Ombre Leather. He likes Aqua de Gio from Giorgio Armani. He likes Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mail, those kind of perfumes. So I was proud of him that he picked himself up this kind of fragrance from Diptyque because it's so clean and so different from 
every other masculine perfume he's ever bought for himself. Um, but it just smells elegant, refined, subtle, and you can't put your finger on it. It's that scent that you just cannot put your finger on it. It smells incredible, but you can't quite figure out, is that you? Is that your shirt? Is that your laundry detergent? Like what? You smell amazing. Like you smell amazing. That's what this is. You just smell amazing, but you can't quite figure out what on earth it is. It's just so lovely. And actually you guys, for an eau de toilette, this actually has good sillage as evidenced by the millions of times I've smelled it on my boyfriend and gone crazy for it. Um, and you can smell this on your clothing for days after you take off your shirt. You will still be able to smell this at the end of the day, the next day. So it has very good performance for being an eau de toilette. I don't know really about skin. I just remember like on his shirt and on my clothing smelling this. I've only worn it like twice. Um, so it's still full. I just bought it, but really, really recommend it. It's amazing. Definitely not one to sleep on you guys. If you're looking for clean aesthetic, um, you, but better, not a perfume perfume and something that's a little different. It's a little different. What I like what they've done here is they have put in uh, sesame and mimosa. So that subtle, that subtle yellow floral mimosa scent, which is just gorgeous and is in Jo Malone mimosa and cardamom. Uh, mixed with that slightly creamy nutty sesame and then combined with all of that musk and the woody base is just what makes it Special. It's really really good you guys So this one is definitely not one to be to be slept on and that is the last one in my clean girl aesthetic video And that is low papier. So that was it for today's video you guys I hope that you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on these fragrances Also, don't forget to head on over and follow me on Instagram and drop me down below your favorite clean girl aesthetic or not a perfume perfume I'm always interested to know what other people are wearing and loving. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time